Well, happy Sunday, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today is something a little different. This is a car channel, obviously, but I finally started my garage renovation. If you know me or know the channel, I love cars, obviously, and I have a very old, 108-year-old uh, colonial that I spent the last 12 years redoing the inside, some of the outside, and my backyard. Now, I'm finally ready to tackle the garage. Now, before I do that, I'll show you my, my backyard project that's been holding me up for the last year. I ended up doing this first. I should do the garage first, but that's okay. But this project back here I'm gonna show you has been holding me up. Like I said, this has been about a year, a little over a year project. I'm not a professional contractor, so all this I did myself. It's taken me quite a while. And again, I work full time at YouTube. I have four cars to maintain, a family, I travel a lot, so. Hi, say hi. 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 You're so cute. I'm explaining the uh, garage project and why it's been taking me so long to get to it. This kind of came first, the backyard. Can I get to help you? Uh, a little bit, you can. All right, so here's our outdoor living room setup. We got the outdoor TV yesterday. We still got to do grill area right here. There's going to be some sort of peninsula bar right here. Back where we came in is going to be a spa. Again, I'm not a professional contractor. I just know how to watch YouTube and uh, get creative. And what's the word I'm looking for? I guess ambitious. Why is this cushion upside down, little girl? Did you do that? No. Was it mommy? It's upside down. I was just confused. Saying what? No, the, the cushion's upside down. I just don't know why. That is like, yes, it is. I'm not lying. No, I said, why is it upside down? I'm going to talk to mom offline. Look at that face. That, that's the face. That's the face I'm talking about. They've never seen it. That's the face. In any case, yeah, this is the backyard. This is a little privacy thing for my electrical, my AC unit. It's ugly. These little forms I made out of concrete. These just kind of look cool. There's going to be a little hanging uh, flower pots on them eventually. This right here will be a spa soon, some more sitting area. And the back here is going to be a second entrance to my garage. That's going to come once the garage is totally done. And for those curious, here's how it looks at night. All done up. That's pretty cool. Pretty fun little cozy spot to hang out. But still so much to do. It's getting a little water feature is gonna go right there. I get a bunch of topiaries around this guy. But no, I'm liking it. Oh, and some Bahama shutters above all the windows that'll come later this year but it should make it look it should finish the 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 feel out here and of course we do have little slip covers waterproof for the sofas and the tv but in the frigid cold months this doesn't have to come inside but the quick release really really easy to take off oh and one more thing i annexed all of my garden stuff to out here in this satellite little shed it works perfectly that way my garage can just be used for car stuff and a youtube type of studio it looks like my garage threw up out here this is kind of neat i forgot i bought these like 15 years ago at a uh thrift store a whole bunch of um laser discs that i have out in the sun probably cooking them so this is my retirement not really not really worth anything i thought for sure one day they would be but no it's pretty cool all unopened neighbors keep driving by like, you moving like no i ain't moving all right, so the plans for this guy. I got the floors cleaning, so I'm cleaning right now. Some purple power. Uh, like I said, this garage, someone put this addition or made it probably the 70s, if I had to guess. Only thing I did, I moved in. I put down a really shitty concrete subfloor, put these tiles over it, and I ran some uh, electrical out here, 30 amp total, just to kind of give me um, a head start. I got all of the top blacked out last week. It'll make sense at the end why I'm doing that. Uh, there will be those honeycomb lights or hex lights above probably this area and that area over there. There's going to be a lift right where I'm standing, so I can't put lights above right here. I'll probably put some along this wall right there. This week, I will be drywalling all of this, finally. It'll look nice and clean. The bottom, too, will do a different color. Uh, the flashing in between, I'll do something creative with that. Not sure yet. This corner is going to be a lounge area. TV up there. Small little sofa right here, hang out. This will be my desk area slash recording area right here. Some very unique 
cabinetry is going to go right here. All my detail stuff right there. Over in this end right here, this is going to be a workbench, more cabinetry, and some sort of large cabinet for my hazmat, and then another door, which will go to the backyard right here. This wall, I'm still trying to think what I want to do to it exactly. Uh, it might be kind of an accent wall. I'm not really sure yet, but I will know it'll look really, really cool. So I'm not going to do this like a day one, day two. I don't have the time to film that. I want to get this done. So what I'll do weekly, I'll do like a part one, two. I'm hoping to do this in like 10 weeks, so 10 parts total. You'll see the whole thing come to fruition. And then the very end right behind me, there will be a lift. And I'm actually buying the lift from Home Depot. They sell them online. They freight them to your house, which is pretty cool. So I can finally fit both the Corvettes inside. But yeah, what's today? It's June something, June 11th, 12th. I'm hoping to be done by middle August of the latest uh, Labor Day, but you know these things go with projects and stuff. And there's a lot of stuff I got to fix out here, and a lot of electrical stuff I got to run differently to match what I'm trying to do with the outlets and stuff. But I'm excited to show you guys every week the progress. Uh, my DIY stuff might be on hold because my tools are everywhere. It's kind of in shambles in here. I'll do more driving around type videos for a little while. Um, I know next week I'll be driving a 2003 base coupe c5 corvette automatic i've never driven one so i'm going to do it from a perspective of a c5 z06 owner and then the following week a buddy of mine's got a c8 2lt z51 and i'll do a compare and contrast to my 1lt non c51 c8 so that should be pretty cool if you guys are interested in that um, i still have the hood vents and the rear balance video i gotta make and also follow up on the uh, the splitter. I tried to do a, a stress test with the heat, but it's been so cool here. Today is like 82, but once they get above 90 for a day or two, I'll stress test it again. We'll see how that spoiler holds up to the extreme heat. Well, anyways, guys, this is just a quick video to show you what's going on. If you don't see any DIY videos for the next eight weeks or so, that's why, because my garage is pretty much in pieces right now. But once that's done, it'll look cool. It'll be much, much better for filming. I'll have proper lighting. I know people over the years have complained about that. It's just because the garage sucks. And it's been on my to-do list, and I'm finally getting to do it right now. And one of these days, I'm going to take you guys on a tour of my house. It's 108 years old. You would never know it. I spent eight years renovating the entire inside of that guy. It looks awesome. So maybe any interest on that, I'll take you guys through the house. But again, this is a car channel, not a home improvement channel. But the garage is kind of like automotive related so i'll show you guys every week the progress i'm making and i'm open to ideas you guys might have uh constructive criticism is always good if you see something i'm doing like that's stupid you shouldn't be doing that please let me know so all right guys that's it for today and i'll see you guys in about five or six days for that 2003 corvette comparison video all right guys take care Mark out. Oh, and there is a reason for me taking everything out and putting everything back in, uh, making it more strategic so I can walk around the entire thing while I do drywall and then put up cabinetry and start filtering things where they need to go. Also, uh, I got some almost brand new corner lights, the DRLs, if anyone wants them, and a front leaf spring off a C5 Z06 in good shape. Shoot me a message if you want them for really cheap, and I'll uh, send it to you plus shipping.